Okay, in this video I'm going to be introducing you to the background of the binomial distribution. And what I want to introduce you to first, if you've never met it before, is Pascal's triangle. Pascal's Greek mathematician, and the triangle that was put together looked like this, where each entry is the sum of the previous, the previous two above it. And so 6 is the sum of 3 and 3, uh, 3 is the sum of 2 and 1, 2 is the sum of 1 and 1, and so on. Okay? And you can keep on going further down. So the next one will be 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Okay? Now, what then I want you to think about is um, a binary stat. Now, that's not something that you might have heard named like that, uh, but you will have seen them in like old arcade machines where you've got to drop the coin down and it's got uh, possibili many different possibilities of where it's going to possibly land. So, um, when it goes in to the top, it's got two options because there's a little pin there that will make it go into two different ways. Okay, So there's one possibility of getting to this position and one possibility of getting to this position. If I then it goes into the next drop, okay, there's one possibility, one way that it could get to here. There's one, two ways that it could get there and one way it could get there. If I go to the next row, then there's one way that it can get to the outside edge. There's only one route through. To get to here, it could go down this way, that'd be one, or it could go down this way for two, or it could go this way for three. And in a similar way, that is also 3. And you can see how this starts to mimic perfectly Pascal's triangle. And so if this was a binostat, so the coin is dropping down, then there are 10 different ways that it could land in this position, for example. And we could use this to great effect. Because if I was then saying, well... Um, if I wanted to know how many different ways um, I was going to flip a coin, for example, let's say um, I was going to uh, flip a coin five times. Okay? And I wanted to know what is the probability of getting exactly uh, one head. Okay, well, if I've got uh, a coin being flipped five times, then I could get heads, then I'd have to get tails the remaining four times. Tails, heads, tails, 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 Heads, tails, 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 heads, tails, 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 heads. Okay, so there's five different possibilities. Um, and this is as if I was right here. Okay, so the probability of one of these occurring is one half to the power of five. Okay. The probability of getting heads would be a half, the probability of getting tails would be a half. So it's one half times a half times a half times a half times a half. However, there are five possible combinations, and so I would multiply this by five to get my probability. Okay? If I wanted to say what is the probability of getting exactly two heads, Then I could say, well, to get two heads, the probability of getting one of the possibilities is one half to the power of five, but there are ten different combinations. 
So it's 10 times 1 half to the power of 5. So you can use the binary stat to come up with these probabilities that are required. Now, what we want is there to be a nice, easy way of getting to these numbers. And thankfully, there is. So, um, what we say is that, I um, just want to get my wording right here. The number of ways of selecting R events or R objects from N, okay, from, uh, yeah, from N would be denoted NR. So this is the notation that is used. It's also referred to as NCR and on your calculator appears as N capital C R. Okay, so you should be able to find that on your calculator. Now, what this is referring to is that if you were looking at uh, 0, 0, then that is your top number, 1. Then I've got uh, from 1, I could pick 0 or 1. From 2, I could pick 0, 1 or 2. From 3, I could pick 0, 1, 2 or 3. Okay? So, if you were going to pick uh, 3, 2, for example, if you wanted that, the number of ways of selecting uh, two objects from 3, then you would be saying, right, well that is 3 NCR, oh sorry, N 3C2. So on your calculator, that is just above the division symbol on a normal Casio. So you can press, click that in, NCR2, and you should get 3. So it's relating to this position here. So this would be 40414243444. This is 5051525355. So if you want to try uh, 53, for example, so 5 NCR button 3, you should get 10. So 0, 1, 2, 3, identifying that position there. So this is how... Um, or what's going on in the background for Binomial and we're going to be looking at how we can use this in more detail in the coming videos.